Hi, this is Ralph, and I want to go over a few basic functions in Excel. In particular, I'm going to go over average, count, count a, min, max, and sum. These are some of the most common functions that you might use, and they're also some of the easiest, so it won't really take long to practice each of these. In order to give us a, a good working model here, I'm going to use a data set of numbers. And I'm just going to create a random set of numbers, and to do that, I'm going to use a ran between function and I'm going to give myself some random numbers in between 100 and 999. There we go. So I've got a random number. I'll autofill that down, autofill that across, and now I have some random numbers. And to keep these things from re-randomizing, you know, because every time I fill down or do something they're going to give me a new set of numbers, I'm going to go ahead and select these. I'm going to do a control C to copy. I'm going to go to my paste special here, and I'm going to do a paste values. There we go. So now the function is gone, and I just have numbers in there. There we go. And in fact, let me do a little trick here. I'm going to go ahead and undo. And I have my ran between function back in there. Let me show you another thing we could have done. Uh, select this data set here, put your cursor on the border, do a right click, drag, and just put it back. And then there's an option here to uh, copy here as values only. And that kind of serves the same purpose. So that gives us just the values. And I'm also going to go ahead and delete a couple things just so our count functions will make a little bit more sense. All right, now to start trying out some of these functions average for set one, average for set two. So this is one's pretty easy. For a lot of these functions, you'll notice you can get to them from the auto sum drop down button. And these are some of the most common functions. There they are, sum, average, count, max, and min. And of course, we can get to more functions with our insert function dialog box. I'll go ahead and cancel that for now. For functions, functions that you use a lot, of course, you can just start to type them out. And you'll see you get the little drop down, and you can choose the particular function you want. I want average, so I'll go and choose this option. And it prompts me, it tells me that I need to start putting the numbers that I want to average. Now I want to average a range of cells, so I'm going to go ahead and use my pointer here and select my range of cells. And you could manually type in the closing parentheses to finish off the function, or just go ahead and type your or press your enter key. There we go. So the average for my data set is 601.11. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and reduce the number of decimal places. So 601.1 is my average. Let's go ahead and try another one here. I'm going to do a count function. This time I'll activate the cell where the count function is going to go. I'll use my auto sum drop down in the top right over on the right side of the home ribbon and I'm going to use count numbers. What cells do I want to count? I want to count my data set over here. Press my enter key. There we go. It says I have nine numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is correct. Excellent. All right, now let's check out count A. I'm going to go ahead and activate this cell. I'm going to start off with equals count. There's count A. Of course, I can use my down arrow key, and then I can press my tab key, and that starts me off. I'm also going to do a count A of this range of cells. Press my enter key, and I get a nine. So what's the difference between count and count A? count will count cells that have numbers, whereas count A will count cells that are not blank. That means I could go to one of my data sets and I could put in n-a for none applicable. So now my count A is counting this. So now I have 10 counts, numbers plus text, whereas count still says at 9. It's, it's at a 9. So let me go ahead and delete this and I'll just put another number in. How about 500? There we go, so now my counts are both at 10. If I delete that one, counts go down to 9. Put more text in, count A counts it as 10. Make sense? Notice that my average is still working OK. My average is still counting 601.1. Let's just point that out. Let me go ahead and delete a number. My average got reduced. Control Z to undo. Put that number back in. Average is updated. Min, max, and sum. They all work pretty similar to the basics to the basic average function that we did before. Equal sign, name of the function, and a parentheses, set of parentheses containing the range of cells that we want to get them in for. So let's go ahead and try this one. I will use my drop down auto sum button, min, select the range of cells, press enter, max, auto sum drop down, max function, select the range of cells, press enter, and sum. Sum function, select the range of cells, and enter. Very good. So I've got my sum, my max number, min number, 
counting all cells that uh, are not blank, counting cells that have numbers, and of course my average. Now I'm going to kind of repeat this process, but I want to do it in a slightly different way. I'm going to go ahead and select the range of cells that contains my data set 2, and I'm going to name this using my name box over in the left side of the formula bar. I'm going to go ahead and name this data 2, no spaces. So now this range of cells is named. So let me show you this. Let me do an average equals average tab over and then I can just put in data2. Notice that as soon as I start to type this out, by the way, it's popping up with my named range, so I could click this with my mouse. Double click there and press enter. So now I'm getting an average of my data set 2, which is that range of cells. I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process a bit here. Equals count data2 equals count A data2 equals min data2 equals max data2 and equals sum data2. There we go. So now I used a named range in order to create all of these functions. It's a lot easier, especially if I wanted to reference this on another sheet. I can just say, you know what, I want to get the data to information. And of course it's all up to date. So if I go ahead and delete a number, my average counts and maxes, you know, assuming they changed, I'm not sure. Those get updated, updated, certainly my sum, and if I were to put text in here, there we go, count A receives it. So those are just a few basic functions you'll use in Excel and named ranges, which are a really useful tool.